Okay, here we're going to be testing this cap here, and it is 590 to 708 microfarads. It's a big cap. It's low voltage, but it's a big cap. Let's see if this thing's any good. Now I'm taking the uh, capacitor tester and putting it across the terminals. Okay, now I'm going to reverse them. Well, that's a little odd, isn't it? Uh, we'll try a different capacitor tester. Okay, and we're going to try this one. This is not a dedicated capacitor tester. It's just going to read, oh well. So, looks like that one's dead. Uh, can't get any reading. Okay, here we have another capacitor. This one's a little different. I want you to note that thing that's on there, that little doohickey right there. That's a resistor. It looks like 15K. Uh, across there. Can you test this accurately if the resistor is there? Now the resistor is there to discharge the cap uh, once it's out of the circuit. But let's put the meter on there. Okay. Let's say 170, 175. Hmm. Okay, so it's reading a capacity. Now let's look at this capacitor. We can see it's 88 to 108, so it's reading way high. Hmm, let's try unsoldering that resistor. I've unsoldered that little resistor, and let's double check this thing. Pretty big difference, huh? Uh, don't test these things with that uh, resistor intact. I think it probably gives these meters fits and they will read incorrectly. So, 88 to 108, it's 99. This thing's right into money. Okay, so let's check this one. Now you notice this one's reading, it never changed. It just stayed the same. Uh, so it's open. So this cap's bad too. Uh, so we've shown open, shorted, and uh, correct capacitance. Those are the three things that you look for. There's not much else to it. Uh, that's very fairly simple to check. Make sure they're disconnected when you do it. And obviously if uh, there's crap come out of this little hole and it's tar all over the place, uh, you don't have to go much farther than that and you're pretty much finished. Uh, because the cap is bad. And that's testing the run cap.